Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It's a fresh new week. <sighs> I slept like a log last night. One of those sleeps where you just don't want to get up because you're so comfy in the morning. But I did, I'm up. And look what I'm watching. What are you watching today? Oh, oh, is that love balls? Uh, oh, snipper clips. Okay, go and eat your breakfast please, got to go to nursery soon. I'll be so glad when he starts school and we can kind of wean him off this thing. I'm gonna eat fruit for breakfast, get him to nursery and then I'm going for a wander around TK Maxx because I've wanted to go all weekend and haven't quite made it there. So I'm gonna go first thing this morning because it'll be nice and quiet. There won't be anyone around and I can just wander. And then I've got to get some nail polish remover. Don't let me forget to get nail polish remover because I've been wanting to paint my toenails so long but i need to take off some blue before i can put on the pink that i want to put on <laughs> got delivery coming and then i don't know what else i've got planned for today not an awful lot okay i feel like i need to try and put my mount back up somewhere let me see hold on a moment it's very dark okay so you are on a mount and very warm it is indeed very muggy today and i'm hoping i don't think i'll be able to drive with you guys with you guys on the mount just because i don't know if i'm gonna get pulled over for a bit like blocking the window and that explains that's not gonna work is it because it didn't stay on I tried guys I tried <laughs> we'll just pretend that doesn't exist so I went into TK Maxx and it was a bit of a bust there was nothing that I actually went in to get I wanted to find some boots I wanted to find some books for Scout which I did find but they weren't appropriate they weren't age appropriate and I wanted to find a new diary like a mid-year diary but they didn't have one that I wanted so instead I ended up picking up um this set of four books which are age five to seven but you know what scouts like and it is a computing set of like white clean activity books so there's one one that says digital skills one that is how does my tablet work which considering he's obsessed with his flaming tablet that would be good so i figured we'd get that and i picked up another mug i really don't need any more mugs liam's gonna kill me but it's a radon mug and it says zen and i really love it so i picked up that and then i did remember to go into boots so i now have nail polish remover i only got a little bottle because i, I don't tend to go through it very quickly and then i picked up three unnecessary things new eyebrow pencil some new eyebrow tint dye because I've never tried the eye little one and i want to not look like a slug when i give birth so i'm doing all i can and then i picked up the bleach smoky conditioner i was going to pick up the shampoo as well because it was all on sale so i'm going to see if i can get it online and get it delivered because they were completely out in there i'm hoping that this will take some of the bleachy away i don't know I, I like my hair at the moment but i just want something to dirty it up a little bit does that make sense so i figured i'd try the conditioner because it's very dark purple but it was like half price so i thought i would try it the postman has been so he did get him through the door and the exciting delivery of the day is maternity bras <laughs> although i'm not sure how i meant to try them on because they are in fact sets of two stuck together both of them i'm gonna have to actually unpop them to try them on these ones i'm hoping shouldn't be too much of a problem because they're my actual size i say actual size who even knows what actual size is when you've got milk producing bags stuck to your je chest but these ones are a size large because they own these are sleep bras but they only went up to a size large so i just got the large they just don't seem very wide i mean that's my hand I'm, I'm a lot bigger than than this. I don't want to spend a fortune and I just want something comfortable to wear to keep the girls in place at night because I didn't do that with Scout. I'm going to see if I can get them at least over my head. I'm hoping obviously once I've had Lumi, my like band size will go down a bit because I won't have the bump, if that makes sense. Once the bump goes down, it'll be back to just being my ribcage kind of size. 
which if you're wondering is like a 38 because I have a really wide rib cage and a really like wide back. So being plus size and trying to find maternity bras that aren't awful or extortionately expensive is really difficult. Okay, tell a lie. Yes, I tried it on. Excuse the mess of the bedroom. That's another job for today. But considering I am 33 weeks <laughs> and you can tell the bump has not seen the sun. <laughs> I'm generally a size 18 at the moment, like 20 in trousers, 18 up top. These are actually really good. I, I wasn't expecting them to be this good. They've still got a lot of stretch in them. Obviously, they're a bit nippy because there's no like padding or anything. It's just a piece of material. But it's super comfy. I'm really surprised. I honestly thought that I was going to have to send these back. I would be happy wearing these during the day, like on a lazy day at home as well. Of course, there's not much support. Isn't They're not meant to hold your girls up. So I'm really impressed with these. I like them a lot. Okay, and believe it or not, these ones are actually okay as well. So a little bit tighter around the band, which I'm just going to put down to the fact that she is filling up every inch of space that she could possibly fill. But I'm not overhanging. I don't feel uncomfortable. I haven't got tons of like back rollage and no side boob. So these fit pretty well as well if you kind of know your size. I'm not sure how well they're gonna fit once my milk comes in because they are quite snug, but maybe that'll be a good thing. Um, and they have the, the clips. And if you see, I've got the other one attached because I didn't know whether they were gonna fit or not. But they've just got the snap clips on them. Actually looks a lot nicer than what I lived in with Scout because with Scout I lived in, there was one that was this colour and a black one and they were super cheap, cheaper than these and flimsy and I literally lived in the same two bras for my entire nursing time which was about eight months. I do want to point out, I know I'm going on about like breastfeeding and nursing and everything else, I am going to try and breastfeed Lumi but I didn't have the best relationship with breastfeeding when it came to Scout. We did do it for about eight months. For about five months of that time, it was from one boob only because the other boob decided not to produce milk anymore. And if we need to formula feed, I'm totally all for it. Like, if it doesn't work, I will be bottle feeding her. I'm not, I'm not about like, breast is best. I'm just, whatever. And that's my car alarm. Wonderful, great. I have procrastinated to the best of my ability this morning. As you can see, I have makeup on now. And my hair is slightly curly. And the cats have obliterated that somehow. So now I've got to go get scalped. And then when I get back, I can let rip it out in the garden, get some washing on, get some housework done try and be productive because I most certainly have not been this morning. We're home, I have changed because I got incredibly hot in the car so I now have shorts and a tank top on instead and I've got all my washing but first I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee in my new mug. I need to wash it but then I'm gonna make a nice coffee and then I'm gonna tackle this. Liam has downloaded all these games that he thinks Scout would like to play and then left me to deal with, how do I play this? And I don't know how I, how. how. Do I play I'm gentle, I'm oh my gosh. There you go. Please yes. just on Ben there down that. I don't want to play Ben there down that. Well how, this is, this is the game. Baba. Thanks, I just want to go for that. You got me, Jamie Dodgers. Why? It's turned into one of those days where I'm just done. One day can do one. 
my child messed his pants wet all the way through them and through his shorts okay and i just thought he'd just done it again i thought he'd just done it for the second time but there was that and i've just gone to put dinner in the oven the dinner that i had planned all day to find that it uh, actually says not suitable for home freezing and what is it frozen so I don't know what I'm going to do with that because I thought it was freezeable. I'm guessing I just... Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. The freezer wasn't shut. It was in the other freezer, not the one I've just been in. How long has that been open? I feel tonight might be a Domino's night because my freezer is dripping and it looks filthy now. Everything is defrosted. Hopefully the food is okay, like the front of the drawers are defrosted. Good morning, everyone. It's been one of those mornings, I've already been crying. Sometimes you just wake up and you feel a bit overwhelmed and that is exactly how I feel this morning because I've come downstairs and my darling fiance needed a plaster yesterday and he went to the shop yesterday and I know it's all small things but I'm so over picking up other people's shit to put it politely I'm done so my child has just had a stern word because we came downstairs and he demanded didn't ask wasn't polite about it demanded some milk and said you get me my chocolate milk now so he's just had a certain word and now i'm gonna have a bit of a, a debrief a bit of a, a breathe and i'm going to have some posty waffles so how's everyone else's tuesday morning obviously by the time you see this it won't be tuesday but i hope you're all having a slightly better one than me. Tell you what guys, this, this bin that we got from Ikea, fucking amazing. We actually decided not to have a separate, exciting chat with Sam, have a separate waste bin and recycle bin in the house because our recycle bin, our recycle wheelie bin actually just sits outside our back door. So we decided to just have a normal waste bin in the kitchen and then just chuck the recycling into the one outside when we need to. And it's so much better. Like the kitchen doesn't smell because it's actually a closed bin. The other ones had lids, but they just sort of sat down and they were filthy and they were really hard to clean because of where the hinges were on the lids. But this one, I never thought I'd be so happy about a bin, but it just, the flies aren't gathering around it. It's holding in the smell. We haven't had to empty it, literally every day we've had that since saturday it's now tuesday no yes did we go on saturday yes we did and it's not been emptied yet and it's only half full whereas the other one we were emptying every day because of the shape of them off on a tangent about a bin happy tuesday morning scout i think wants to go somewhere today but i think i'm gonna try and push for a um like a homey homey do stuff day because one I really don't want to get dressed. Two, the house is annoying me because there's stuff in places that I've been seeing for weeks and I want to um, burn my waffles. Let's try this again, shall we? Someone turns the toaster up. It's one of these days where I just, I don't really want to do anything other than potter around my house. I'm feeling so incredibly pregnant. Although I did weigh myself this morning and I think let's input my weight into my pregnancy app and uh, see how much I've gained so far. I'm actually really happy. So in total, so far I'm 33 weeks and three days pregnant and so far I have only gained 18.8 pounds. So I'm very, very happy because I gained a hell of a lot more with Scout. Watch these waffles because I don't have many left. So yeah, I gained probably about 
three and a half full stone with scalp. So I'm incredibly happy that that is what I've gained so far. Even if I gained another six pounds or so, that would only take me up to what, two stone? And I can, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm very happy. Okay, so it's been a few hours, I had to kind of just mellow out a bit, but trying to get back on some of a positive date. I've got a touch of the mummy guilt today because Scout is um, very much YouTube zombieing on the tablet and I don't like it. So I've just made him a nice lunch. I've made myself another iced coffee and lunch. And then I've done, got all that washing to fold. I've stripped all the beds. What else, what else? I'm gonna run him a big bubbly bath and let him use one of my bath bombs as well. So he can have a color bath, which is what he calls them. Ah, it's perfect. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is probably put a movie on, find a movie that he might enjoy. He's not a big movie kid. He's never sat and watched an entire movie apart from Minions. So I think I'm gonna do that and just snuggle with him this afternoon. And I know it's going from one screen to another, but I just feel like he's maybe feeling a little bit, because there's no reason to, for him to feel that way, but there's a lot of big changes coming and I think he's finally kind of realizing like all the parcels are coming, a baby stuff and they're not, they're not really for him anymore and things like that. So I'm gonna try and spend some time with him this afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all really well on this fab hump day. <laughs> it's hump day after all. But I woke up this morning and when I woke up, it was 14 degrees. And even now it's only 19, so I'm incredibly happy. Let's try that again without Liam making noises in the uh, background as he was coming upstairs. But basically, where was I? I don't even remember. I think it's been about an hour since I actually checked in. <laughs> Um, we dropped Scout off at nursery this morning and went and had a cheeky breakfast and then popped to TK Maxx and I picked up a new mid-year diary. It's not really, it's like an 18 month diary that was really close to my face, sorry. Because the one that I was using, this one, is just too big and as much as I like having a massive like planner size uh, diary thing, I'm finding it really hard to actually use it because it's so large. So I picked up this one and I've just spent the last however long um, filling in all of the important dates, all of the videos I've got planned for now and things like, let's see if I can do this without showing you where Scout's going to school. Hold on a moment. We were given this for school and it's got all of the holiday dates for the follow like for the next year, um, all the way up to next summer. So I've just filled that into my diary as well because I thought a random piece of paper we're going to lose at some point. So it would be good to have it all in one place. But it actually makes me realise how much he has in terms of time off, like inset days and bank holidays and then half terms and Easter and Christmas is a lot of time off so obviously if we want to go away at any point next year we're gonna to have to do it at these times because we can't take him out of school good afternoon everyone it's Thursday and I've not vlogged anything today and it's already five to five in the afternoon today's been tough <laughs> I woke up this morning and I think I've mentioned this before but I've been getting a little bit of pubic pain uh, recently and I kind of just put it down to maybe baby was moving um, but this morning oh my god the pain it literally feels like my pubic bone is being ripped in half so obviously I've done a bit of a google and like put two and two together and it's definitely SPD which I kind of figured it was anyway but it's never been I've, like, I've had a little bit of pain and then it'll go off or it'll just be if I move in a certain way and then it'll go off but today it's been all day and I took Scout to soft play this morning and came home and I was just ready to crumble like uh, I've had a fair few tears today because it just hurt so much. Liam's been holding the fort downstairs whilst he's working 
I came upstairs and had to lie down for an hour. That that kind of helped, but didn't. So I went downstairs and sat upright on the sofa and shoved a hot water bottle between my legs, which is the weirdest thing ever. But the heat really, really helped. And I'm actually able to move my legs now because walking, just walking was hurting. The next step for me today, for feeling a little bit better, because Liam is in work tomorrow, and then we are going to Twycross do on Saturday. But there's about an hour and a half drive away from here, so I've got to do a drive, walk around the zoo, because we've seen some friends we haven't seen for about two years, and then drive home. So I kind of want to be able to move a little bit. So I'm just running a bath. I'm gonna get in the bath and soak in the warm for an hour and hopefully feel a little bit better. I don't know what's set off so much. I don't know whether she's moved again. I did an inversion last night on the sofa, which my midwife actually recommended doing because she hasn't really moved that much. She's still, she's now in like an oblique kind of position. So she's not completely sideways. She does have her bum a little bit more high up, but she's definitely not head down yet. So I tried to do an inversion last night and I don't know whether that means she's moved a little bit more. I don't think she has, to be honest, the way the movements have been today. But I'm wondering whether that's put a bit of strain on that area and kicked things up a little bit. So I'm gonna take it easy for the next couple of, I say couple of days, like the rest of tonight and then Going into tomorrow, I'm gonna to try and take it really, really easy and not, not worry about housework as much as I really want to do the housework whilst it's cool. I'm gonna try not to worry about it because I want to be able to walk around the zoo and enjoy it on Saturday. So that is why I've not vlogged anything until this point. Good morning, friends. We're back to balancing on the car dashboard. It's Friday, thank God it's Friday. Feeling much better today. The SPD pain has kind of subsided again is nice i'm hoping it'll lay off until after the weekend my hair is nuts <laughs> i had my bath yesterday and used the bleach london smoky shampoo so it's got a tiny little like purple tint to it right now but i didn't condition it i just shampooed it because i was getting a lot of build up so i just shampooed the hell out of it and then rinsed it and my hair has gone so big that i don't really know what to do with it <laughs> So I've got to go to got to go to a post office and post something this morning and then I've also got to do some food shopping but I don't know where to go because I haven't got a plan or, or a shopping list or anything. I am home and um, I've just spilled a muller rice down me. Grub life. And I've just changed the batteries out but this one's dying as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit cross-legged to keep my pelvis open. And um, I can't sit on the ball right now. I just, I don't want any more of that SBD. It's time to go get scalped and I'm in a really good mood. This hair, I still haven't sorted this hair out. I don't know what's going on. But I'm in a really good mood because I've edited Lumi's hospital bag video and it is up. It's up, it's ready, it's good to go. If you want to go watch that, it's already on the channel. And it poured with rain the entire time I was doing it. The sun's starting to come back out now, so me to that. But we had loads of rain and I'm so happy about it. So much cooler, which means I'm feeling productive. So I'm gonna get some stuff done this afternoon. Happy Sam, let's go get the party. <sighs> rain, who'd have thought rain would make me so happy? Okay, so one thing I want to do this afternoon is tackle our bathroom because we have a funky smell and I think it's coming from the good old drain. So, just purchased these. I'm gonna try and get back on the cruelty free wagon. I have fallen off it, but I haven't used Astonish before and I've read good things. Just casually cover up the poo there with my, um, <laughs> my knee. So I'm gonna give this a go around the edges of the bath. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And then this, which probably isn't cruelty free and or vegan, but deep clean foamer. Just gonna give that a go and hopefully it'll help some smell. I'll do this, the sink as well, but Liam thought it was coming from the cactus and I thought it might be coming from down here. We might've had a leak. But then it dawned on me that Oscar uses the bath as a toilet. And maybe 
it's just the fact that we don't always realize when he's been in here and that is sitting at the bottom of like the pipe getting really gross and yucky so i'm gonna tackle it with this see if it makes a difference and if it does then i think what we're gonna have to start doing is keeping the plug in the plug hole so he can't pee down them down the drains which is annoying because it's actually quite a good thing because it's less cat dirty cat litter to, to, to clean up but if it's making my bathroom smell i'm not about it astonish you don't win on the old scent though this stuff stinks and it doesn't smell very nice mission get the kid to help out around the house a little bit Pardon? nothing <laughs> thank you daddy's dirty washing mommy's gonna finally i'll probably regret it but i'm finally gonna put the duvet <laughs> the duvet back in the duvet cover because i'm sick and tired of it not being in there Look who just looked out. Just bought part of it. <coughs> Straight on to Mayfair. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty broke actually. There What's new? <laughs> right. Do me a favour and land on one of these two, please. That'll sort me out. Right, your turn. Go on then, roll that dice, Scout. <laughs> I was joking, but you don't actually move your guy. Right, roll the die. Five. That puts on you then. on chance. Pick a chance card. Advance to a pink or dark blue space. Well, there's no Ooh, dark blues left. <laughs> there's no pinks the left either. Pardon? Which one are you going to go for? Pink or a dark blue? I think I know what, you, what decision I would make. Uh, pink. Go pink? On, which pink? Your own pink. Good thinking, buddy. Good, Good thinking. wise and move, kiddo. Your best go, so you get one. Two. To put in your bank. Your own Good bank. Good morning. We are about ten minutes away from leaving to the zoo. We are running late. Because we're all we're very sleepy, but yes, okay, Oscar. I've got to get in the kitchen, Oscar, before I can feed you. Yep, feed the cats. Stop walking in front of me, and I'll feed you. Snacks for the bag, and then we're gonna grab lunch. No breakfast on the way, and go. As <laughs> normal hands. What do you think? That means you can pick up something. That's what he uses his hands to pick up things. <laughs> Scout's face is like. <laughs> it's what I was like as a child. Look at the butterfly. Look at the pretty butterfly. Wow, but. I'm just going to let you get. He's really pretty. So blue. <laughs> no. oh, so sweet. Yeah, I just want to see what them are real. Scout, they're just pots in the water. Oh, he's rolling his back. Oh, oh they're so pretty, aren't they? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi, guys. So, we did really round off yesterday's vlog, did we? I think the last zoo clip you guys saw was Liam being pooed on by a lorikeet. That was quite funny, but it's now the next day. We uh, finished off in the zoo. I really sucked at filming yesterday. It was just one of those days where we really enjoyed it and I didn't grab for the camera a whole lot. I thought I might, but I didn't. But we love that zoo and we're definitely gonna go again because it was really, really easy to get to. So we left and managed to miss most of like the crowd leaving the zoo and it was clear all the way home as well which is nice we did stop off at a service station because 10 minutes onto the road scout said i need a wee <laughs> so we did end up stopping and um grabbing some dinner i had some chips and that was about it i didn't want anything else and then we came home and by the time i'd driven an hour home my hips had seized up so much that i sort of shuffled up the stairs got into bed and i practically didn't move for the rest of the night 
so I'm still in a little bit of pain today. We walked five miles yesterday, according to my phone, and I think had I been wearing my Fitbit and it was a bit more accurate, it probably would have flagged up more than that. A five mile walk around a zoo for, well, I think we're in the zoo about five hours at 34 weeks pregnant <laughs> just did me in. So today was meant to be a girl's afternoon. Scout and I baked a cake this morning and I wouldn't normally vlog on a Sunday, but I just thought I'd round off the vlog. Made a cake this morning and one of the girls has been poorly this week. So she canceled and then one of the others, her little one, was not very well this week. So she was actually in out of hours with him this morning and he's got tonsillitis. So we've just rain checked on today, which is totally fine because if I'm completely honest, I've had some like stomach pains and stuff this morning anyway. And I didn't be the, I didn't want to be the one to cancel, but yeah, it can't be helped. People get sick all the time and people have reasons to cancel. So we just rain checked on today. So we now have cake to eat. <laughs> We've already had some. And I'm gonna sit and edit this vlog. The boys are playing Mario downstairs on the Switch and I think it's just gonna be a super relaxed day, which is nice because yesterday was a great family day out, but I think it was officially our last family day out before this baby comes because I don't think I can handle any more walking like that. We're just gonna chill. I've got to, these cushions are actually the three cushions that were extra to the ones that we got for the sofa. I did do a quick before and after earlier of what the sofa looked like once I'd plumped up the back cushions with extra stuffing. So I think I'm gonna see if I can find some nice duvet pillow covers, cushion covers for these to have in here. I need to sort these roots out and sleep <laughs> i just want to sleep but thank you so much for watching this isn't flattering really is it but hey ho thank you so much for watching this week's vlog i've been a bit, a bit frazzled this week but it happens um i'm also gonna get what have i got planned i've got a video planned for wednesday i think it's a meal prep video i don't know we'll have to see so hit the subscribe button if you're new guys if you've watched this video and you got through it with it being so boring well done to you um but we'll see you in a few days with a new video bye guys